This here is a Super Caddy Drive Driven Clutch Service Tool. This is how it will come in the box, as you can see here, all apart. There will be no instructions, so in this video, I'm going to tell you what it's used for and how to put it together. You can use this on the Articat Drive Driven Clutches, except for the Diamond Drive, the Polaris Drive Driven Clutches, including the ATV Clutches, the ski -Doo Driven Clutches, except for the RER, and the Yamaha Drive Driven Clutches. Inside the box, you'll get one clutch tool, so that's everything. And that includes one steel base, one steel adjustable arm and wire clip, one steel handle with foam grip, and one pin with retaining bolt and washer. This is a clutch tool and it weighs 7.10 pounds. First step to putting together your Super Caddy clutch tool is take this one rod as you can see here. It has three holes on one end and one hole on the other. You take the one hole end and you put it in this part of the steel base. It will sit in there regularly. Then you take the bolt with the nut and it's size half inch wrench that you're going to use on it. So you put that on there and tighten it down and then you're ready for your next step. Now that you've got this together like I showed you and you've tightened that down you can now install this part, the part that goes up and down. This will be squishing your clutch. So you can put it on any of the three holes desired. There's two on here, there's three on here. So it depends on what you're working on. If it's a big clutch, it'll be on the top. If it's a small clutch, it'll be on the bottom. So whatever one you need it on, just for this video, I'm going to put it on the middle one. There might be a tight fit in the beginning because this has to stretch over it, but you, as you can see, I got it on there, line it up, now you can put your pin through, it has to be this one right here, you only have one, but you don't want to mix it up with the other thing, pop it in there, lock it down, now you're ready for your next step. Now that you've got it all put together like this, you can now take this piece right here. It's got six holes. You can choose which one you need for the job that you're doing. I'm just going to put it on any one I feel like. Put it on there. Now you can take this bolt with this end on it. It's your last one. Put it through. Tighten this down on the other side. It doesn't have to be very tight because whenever you want to adjust or move this piece around right here, you can loosen it off because that's what's going to hold it closed for when you're squishing your clutch. Now your final step to finishing this is to take this piece right here. It's pretty shiny. It's the only pretty much silver part to the thing. Take out the bolt. Make sure you got the washer on there. Now this, the bolt will go through the bottom of a hole right here. You can see it. It will come through there. And then this part right here, you take the threaded end and you screw it onto the bolt. Now you can tighten that down with your hand is all I do because that's all you really need. And that's just going to your clutch is going to slide onto here so now that you're done we can try it out oh yeah thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe hooks